Hi folks, a very warm welcome to another beautiful episode of Learning the Ropes with Easy, aka Welcome to Our Space. Trust you're all doing great. I'm so pleased to be here once again sharing some vital information that would definitely be of good use for you and your loved ones. Adding so much flavor, taste to your everyday cooking, nutritional and therapeutic values beauty and the list goes on yes you guessed right it's all about salt mm -hmm. salt and not just your usual salt no i'm going to be talking about the pink himalayan salt its history benefits and precautions when using it if you're inquisitive about all this <laughs> then grab a nice cold drink or hot drink sit back relax and we'll be right back Welcome back to Learning the Ropes with Easy. Salt is known to be a necessity of life and symbolizes purity, something that gives zest to life and was a mineral used in ancient days in many cultures. People would often use salt as a preservative, um, people could, would use it as a disinfectant and also it's, it's an important component of ceremonial offerings for example if you're from nigeria west africa some tribes usually use salt during a baby's naming ceremony and also during traditional wedding ceremonies salt was also used as a unit of exchange today we are focusing on pink himalayan salt what is pink himalayan salt pink Himalayan salt is a unique salt. It's often referred to as pink salt, rock salt, um, Himalayan crystal salt, and Himalayan sea salt. This salt originates from the Punjab region of Pakistan, about 190 miles from the Himalayan. Something very interesting about this region is that it has the richest salt fields in the entire world and are very, very old. The pink Himalayan salt is said to be the most beneficial salt on this planet today. It has great nutri um, nutritional and um, therapeutic properties. Oh, not to forget its culinary uses too. The pink Himalayan salt can be used to create body scrubs or even bath soaks, um, you know, just like the way you use your Epsom salt uh, for your feet. Yes, you could also use the pink Himalayan salt to create that. So you could use it to uh, massage your feet and then all just you do is like a, a, a feet soak. So you could put it in your warm soapy water or just warm water and then dip your feet into it and just relax, really, really therapeutic. They're also used in making Himalayan salt lamps and the people of the Himalayans have used this unique salt to preserve their meat and also their fish. So the question is, is salt good or bad for you? Guidelines recommend a daily sodium intake of 2300 milligram. However, evidence linking sodium intake to mortality results or outcomes is barely insufficient and inconsistent. Pink Himalayan salt contains over 85 minerals and trace elements, including sodium, calcium, magnesium, um, potassium, 
and um, copper and iron the list goes on so you see it does much more than giving food taste don't you think mm -hmm. the rice salt in the right amount or quantity can actually be very good for your health we'll delve more into this in subsequent videos to come folks this is where we call it a day in my next video we'll look at why you may want to make that ultimate switch to pink Himalayan salt due to its very, very impressive health benefits. Please don't forget to subscribe, click on the notification bell so that you can get instantly notified as soon as I upload new videos. You don't want to miss it, I tell you. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up, click the like button as well, and please leave your comments down below. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Join me on this journey as we learn the ropes. Love and peace. God bless.